what's up, what's up YouTube, so um, I wanted, uh, one, another thing I want to talk about is uh, a book review, a book that I recently read called Born to Run by uh, Christopher McDougall, this book, I think I found my favorite book, <laughs> my running book, I, I was inspired by this book, especially uh, since now I started getting more into, back into running, uh, recently, I love this book a lot. It's pretty much uh, this guy, Christopher McDougall. Like many of us, he's a he's a runner. He likes to go running, but he gets constantly injured. And you know, doctors, physicians are telling him that he's gonna have to get his knees, hips replaced. Where these are orthotics, and and if he doesn't change his ways, he's not gonna, not gonna be able to run again. Well. I think you uh, saw somewhere in a magazine of this old guy who, like 55 years old or something, uh, wearing nothing but kind of like some skirt outfit and these like homemade thin sandals that you could barely, not only call it shoes, but sandals alone, though, in our society. And he just won a 100-mile race. <laughs> and but I'm, okay, it, the story is, this guy goes to uh, the Copper Canyons in uh, Mexico, this tribe, the Tarumara Indian tribe. These people run 50 to 100 miles at a time a day, and they run well to old age, and they never get injured. Uh, their society, no violence, no gangs, activities, there's no such thing as high blood pressure, heart disease, diabetes. I mean, th these are people that they're living four or five hundred years ago, what people were living then, I mean, they just have their own way of life, and they're happy about it, and after reading this book, it made me realize that how far we got away from living nature to where we are right now, you know, I mean, we live, like, I think I read somewhere, the average poor family in the United States has TV, has at least one TV, internet, cable, um, probably computer, you know, these luxuries and stuff, kitchen, bathroom, the average poor family in the United States, you know, and, you know, when you see a lot of people out there running, you know, they, they get this, it's like this battle, you know, constant battle between them and their body. Or, you know, a lot of people, when they think about running, they're like, oh, shit, do I really have to do this? Nah, I, I can't, you know. They're like, oh, I don't want to do it. It's like a love-hate kind of thing, though. But when I was reading this book and stuff, and I kind of, you know, looked more into it, that this tribe, these people... Running to them is not, it's just a way of life, you know, it's not a battle, as many of us see it, and that's why I think that's a problem, though, and again, they either go barefoot or minimal sandals, they can run so much that most physicians, and doctors, and people, and anybody who's ever heard of running, or what we've been conditioned to say is, yeah, they're gonna get injured, you know, but, again, people well into old age, and we're talking about the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, even 90s, running, or like going 20, 30 miles up, the, up this canyon, though, smiling, <laughs> you're just like, man, you, you try, you come here, like, in the United States, or most other places, and you, you'll barely see people who are in their teens and 20s, or 30s, very fit, physically fit, according to our standards, would have a hard ass time doing that, and they would not be smiling, <laughs> I probably would not be smiling, but it's just after reading the book, it inspired me, and I think to myself, you know what, I gotta make a trip down there, you know, I mean, my Spanish isn't, it's not really the best, but, um, it's very broken Spanish, Heavy gringo accent, I'll put it that to you that way. But I, I really want to go down there and I want to run. 
with these with these Indians. So I just want to get that experience. And that's the thing about running, though. When you're out there running, it your worries just go away. You know, they just as like the more miles you run, it's just the the negativity, stress just goes out of your mind completely. And after every run, especially long run that I run, I feel great. I feel probably the best I've ever felt in a long time. And that's the whole thing about running, I think, though. Just going out there, going with nature one-on-one, -on -one, and just moving forward in an effortless freeway, feeling pure bliss all the time, and not worrying about a thing. And uh, that's, that's why a lot of people should just not, like think about of how they run and just go ahead and start doing that. I guarantee you probably make a, a huge difference in your life. But uh, I'm, I'm telling you, if you have a chance, go read this book, Born to Run, by Christopher McDougal. So it um, maybe might not change your life or inspire you as well, as I think it has done to me, but it, it's worth a good read. I'm, I'm just if you want to know, learn something new, I'm telling you, just, if you have time, please, read this book, Born to Run, by Christopher McDougall. Just do it. No, no ifs, ands, or buts. Just do it. You got nothing to lose. Alright? Bye.